One of the many well-loved classic settings for horror films is that of the college campus. Not to be confused with high school or boarding school horrors, this one comes with the specific appeal of the newfound adulthood that comes with going to college and all its associated horrors. I'm Amy from What Culture, and here are the eight best campus horror movies you've never heard of. Eight. Christy. After everyone on campus returns home for Thanksgiving, financially struggling student Justine opts to stay on campus, not being able to afford her flight home. Despite her own financial troubles though, when she pops to the local convenience store and sees a girl asking about a student discount, she offers to pay for her purchase. Well, no good deed goes unpunished. This simple gesture of kindness lands Justine in hot water, as she becomes the latest target of a cyber cult determined to kill Christie's kind, pure women who are followers of God. With nobody around to help her, Justine must evade and outsmart the cult as they close in on her. The idea of a cult chasing around an innocent girl is not a new one, but it's so popular because it works. We all love the tension of a chase scene and rooting for the Lone Ranger, so if you're up for something with a pretty simple premise and an equally bad badass leading lady, then this one is worth a watch. 7. Night of the Creeps Taking a trip back to the 80s now, we have this campy little number. Whilst the box office may not have been kind to it back then, in the years since it has gained its own cult following. In an unbelievably tropey opening, we see a college student become possessed by an alien slug after witnessing his date be attacked by an escaped mental patient. Flash forward a few decades and we rejoin Slug Boy, as he's unwittingly released by two college freshers completing an initiation. What follows is a hilarious combination of alien, zombie, murderer madness as the police and the students try to figure out what the hell is going on. With college romance, clueless police and a sprinkling of violence and explosions, this movie promises you a good time, with some laughs along the way. Deep cinematic masterpiece it is not, but what were you really expecting when I started it by saying Alien Slug? 6. After Midnight 1989. So this one is actually an anthology style film, but there is the overarching story of it being in the context of a private lecture by a university professor. Professor Edward Derrick leads a class on the psychology of fear, and decides that it's an appropriate thing to do to subject students to in-class experiments without any proper informed consent or anything. And surprisingly, this backfires on him when one of his students pees his pants in fear one day. The kid is horribly embarrassed and the uni steps in to censure the class, but in the meantime, the shamed professor invites students for a private lesson. He tells them three stories, all centered around fear. Whilst unbeknownst to him, there are people and forces working against him the whole time. Anthology films are always fun, even when some of the stories are a bit crap. But most people are sold on this film as soon as they see the ridiculous prank that gets the professor in trouble in the first place. It kind of sets the tone for the kooky, darkly humorous adventure to come. 5. Burn Witch Burn Originally titled Night of the Eagle, this British horror gained its new, much funkier title, Burn Witch Burn, for its US release. It revolves around psychology professor Norman Taylor and his wife Tansy. Norman is doing great at the university and advancing rapidly in his field of academia. But one day he finds this may not all be due to his hard work. His wife, it's revealed, is into practicing witchcraft and claims it's her magic that's been protecting him and his career from ruin. His academic specialty is superstition and belief systems, so unsurprisingly this doesn't impress him too much and he makes his wife burn all of her witchy bits and bobs, which as it turns out was just a horrible idea. Having destroyed all the magic protecting him, things start to go rapidly wrong for Norman and he must confront all the forces he previously denied existing. If you're not sold on it now, then just take one look at this poster that promises you the emotional shock of a lifetime. And tell me that you're not just at least a little bit intrigued. 4. American Mary If you're unfamiliar with the world of body modification, it refers to surgical alterations ranging from relatively small things like changing the shape of facial features or microdermal implants, right through to removing body parts and voluntarily flaying sections of skin. If you're in for a casual bit of body horror, then strap in because we're heading to body mod town. A strapped for cash surgical student begins offering her services in extreme body modification. Whilst being praised by her teachers for her great progress, she's able to gain both extra experience and extra funds by completing surgeries that no licensed practitioner would dare. 
When she's attacked by one of her teachers, however, she drops out of her official surgical residency and goes full time with her dodgy dealings. She even finds a perfect new puppet to practice on. With some pretty inventive gore and a unique premise, American Mary is one of the better B-movies available on Netflix. If you're the kind of person that actually loves surgical shows like Botched, then this will appeal to all of your darkest guilty pleasures. 3. Daniel Isn't Real Going a bit more artsy now, we have Daniel Isn't Real, a psychological horror from 2019. Chances are if you're a big fan of us here at What Culture Horror then you'll remember this film being mentioned before, but in the wider scale of things it's gone relatively under the radar. After witnessing the aftermath of a horrible shooting in his childhood, Luke comes up with an imaginary friend to help him work through his trauma, Daniel. Daniel soon turns from reassuring mate to a weird and dangerous influence, leading Luke to push him out of his mind. However, years later, once Luke has reached college age, Daniel reappears. Initially, Daniel, like before, seems helpful. Luke excels in his classes and becomes more of a social butterfly than ever before. But of course, history is doomed to repeat itself. It's a really visually engaging film with fantastic performances from our two leading men, Miles Robbins and Patrick Schwarzenegger. With an interesting mix of horror, supernatural and coming of age in its college setting, this film offers you something new that keeps you guessing. 2. The Addiction Away from slashers and aliens now, we have a classic monster, the vampire. One night when she's out and about, grad student Kathleen encounters a mysterious woman who calls herself Casanova. Far from being the charming romantic her name would suggest, Casanova channels her inner animal and takes a big old bite out of Kathleen's neck before disappearing into the night. Kathleen begins to change rapidly, losing interest in normal food and developing a sensitivity to sunlight. Where before she was shy and introverted, she begins to grow in confidence. As it turns out, confidence is something you need in abundance if you're going to lure innocent people off the street and then drink their blood. It's been praised as taking a new approach to the classic vampire idea, and at times drawing parallels to drug addiction that raise some interesting questions. As rare as it can be to find a smart vampire movie, this one is well on its way to gaining that acclaim. 1. Thesis Thesis is a 1996 horror which, very aptly for this list, was made whilst the director was still studying at uni in Madrid. The story follows Angela, a uni student planning her thesis on audiovisual violence and its impact on families. She wants to find the most violent videos available on the university's video system, and also enlists the help of a fellow student with an exhaustive collection of violent and pornographic videos, which I'm not really sure is something you'd want to be known for at uni, but maybe that's just me. After viewing a snuff film featuring the torture and murder of a previous student, Vanessa, Angela begins to worry that something very dark is being hidden at the university. As a web begins to grow around her involving campus buildings, professors and fellow students alike, Angela's thrown into a world of horrors that her thesis could never have predicted. Having been made by a film student about other media-focused students, this was always bound to be a bit meta. Critics noted that it commented on the state of the Spanish film industry and the issues around violent, slasher-like films, as humans were naturally drawn towards violence, and this film is unafraid to appeal to and at the same time critique that nature. And that's it for this list of the 8 best campus horror movies you've never heard of. If there's any more lesser known college focused movies you think should have been on this list then let us know in the comments below. And remember to check out whatculture.com for more lists and articles like this every single day. I've been Amy from Whatculture and I'll catch you next time.